a stealth drone that can disappear into the sky and then vanish underwater. Iran's new hated 110 is changing everything. Today, we reveal how this hidden drone could strike warships before they even know what's coming. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a close look at one of the most talked about new weapons in global defense on Iran's Hadid 110 stealth drone. What makes this system unique is the claim that it can operate both in the air and underwater, giving Iran a tool for surprise strikes against naval targets. Most drones are built for either surveillance or air attack missions, but Hadid 110 appears to combine stealth flight underwater movement and a suicide strike role in a single platform. That combination could bypass radar, sonar, and early warning systems used by navies around the world. Details remain limited, but leaked information suggests a small radar cross-section, an internal explosive payload, and quiet underwater motion. Experts believe this drone may launch from coastal positions, travel low over the water, then dive beneath waves before moving toward targets such as warships or offshore infrastructure. If accurate, this would represent a shift in Iran's drone strategy from visible deterrence to hidden strikes. Global analysts are watching closely because a stealth underwater drone could threaten shipping routes, oil tankers, and naval fleets in contested waters. In this video, we will explore what Hadid 110 is, how it might work, and why it has raised serious concerns among strategic planners today. Its development signals advancements in Iranian drone engineering worldwide. Understanding the mission profile of the hated 110 is key to seeing why it worries global militaries. Most anti-ship defense systems are designed to detect large objects like submarines or fast-moving missiles. But a small, stealthy drone that can fly low over water and then slip underneath the surface challenges current defense logic. Imagine a drone launched silently from Iran's coastline or a hidden platform. It flies just a few meters above the waves, using its stealth shape to stay invisible to radar. As it approaches detection zones near a naval fleet, it transitions into an underwater mode, diving beneath the surface where radar cannot see it. Traditional sonar may also struggle to detect something small, slow, moving, and quiet. The drone could then move toward a ship's hull and detonate its warhead from below, striking the vessel's weakest point. That kind of attack can disable or even sink modern warships without warning. This is especially concerning in crowded shipping lanes like the Strait of Hormos, where even a single strike could block oil flow and spike global energy prices. Defense experts worry that this drone could be used in surprise operations, sabotage missions, or covert power projection far from Iran's shores. By combining stealth and underwater penetration, Hated 110 represents a new kind of asymmetric threat. The design of the Hated 110 reflects Iran's growing confidence in stealth engineering and multi-environment weapons technology. Although the exact specifications remain classified, defense analysts studying leaked visuals believe the drone uses a smooth, angular body to deflect radar waves and remain extremely low observable during flight. Its compact size means it creates a much smaller radar cross-section than traditional anti-ship weapons, making detection significantly harder. The airframe is likely built from lightweight composite materials, helping reduce weight while also protecting internal components if the drone enters the ocean. A sealed structural shell could prevent water intrusion and maintain buoyancy control. Propulsion may shift between a quiet electric motor for surface, level flight, and a small underwater drive system that allows the drone to glide beneath waves without generating loud acoustic signatures. Sensors placed along the nose and body might enable navigation in dark underwater environments, especially near naval hulls. Inside, experts expect a compact but powerful explosive payload engineered to destroy vulnerable sections of ships from below. This design approach aligns with Iran's recent push toward asymmetric strategies. Instead of competing with massive naval fleets, they focus on low-cost, high-surprise platforms. By making detection extremely difficult from launch to impact, the hated 110 presents a challenge that current naval defense systems were never specifically built to counter. To understand why the hated 110 is such a serious shift in Iran's capabilities, we must look at how modern navies defend themselves. Warships rely heavily on multi-layer protection systems. Long-range radars detect incoming aircraft or missiles early, allowing ships to launch interceptors before threats get close. Closer to the vessel, short-range defenses like rapid fire cannons and electronic jammers attempt to neutralize anything that slips through. But these systems are designed to fight threats coming from above the water. The hated 110 changes the angle of attack completely. If it transitions underwater during the final approach, the drone bypasses those upper defensive layers and targets a ship where armor is weakest below the waterline. A strike there could flood internal compartments or damage propulsion systems with devastating results. This is why some experts compare the Hadid 110 to a modern naval mine that can think, move, and search for targets instead of waiting passively. It forces navies to prepare for attacks they are not trained or equipped to stop. 
Additionally, it can be deployed in swarms, overwhelming defenses with multiple stealth targets at once. In future conflicts, this type of underwater drone could restrict Navy mobility, forcing fleets to stay farther away from contested coasts. The result, Iran gains bigger strategic influence without needing a large navy of its own. Iran has been investing heavily in drone innovation for more than a decade. And the Hadid 110 is not an isolated development. It fits into a broader strategy focused on asymmetric naval warfare. Iran understands that it cannot match the larger navies of the United States or regional rivals like Israel in a direct confrontation. Instead, Iran works on technologies that exploit weaknesses in those more advanced forces. Drones, speedboats, underwater mines, and coastal missile batteries all form a layered defense and offense system intended to make the cost of attacking Iran extremely high. The underwater stealth drone represents the next step in that strategy, shifting from deterrence through visibility to deterrence through uncertainty. When enemies do not know what threats exist beneath the water's surface, their confidence is weakened. This enhances Iran's ability to protect key areas such as the Strait of Hormoz, where 20% of the world's oil passes. Even rumors of a weapon like the hated 1 or 10 can alter naval deployment decisions. The fear of hidden underwater drones could force adversaries to operate farther away or invest massive sums in new detection technology. As Iran continues to showcase drones in public military parades and combat zones, the global message is clear Iran is becoming a leader in creative drone warfare. And the hated 110 proves that this innovation is moving into the maritime domain. One major question surrounding the hated 110 is how it transitions from flight to underwater travel. Analysts suggest a few possible mechanisms. The drone could skim along the water at low speed before smoothly submerging itself using buoyancy control to sink just below the surface. Alternatively, it might land on the water like a seaplane before shifting propulsion modes and diving deeper. Either way, this hybrid capability requires advanced waterproofing of internal electronics, sealed compartments for explosives, and strong yet lightweight exterior materials. Underwater navigation is also challenging because GPS signals do not travel well through water, so the drone may switch to acoustic or inertial guidance to stay on course. Small cameras or sonar sensors could help detect nearby objects and avoid collisions with debris or hull structures. While performance details are unknown, the combination of stealth flight and underwater movement gives the drone a unique double invisibility. Radar struggles to detect its small profile in the sky, while sonar may fail to notice its quiet motion underwater. This unpredictable trajectory makes defense planning extremely difficult for naval commanders. Even if only a few drones are deployed, their ability to approach undetected can create significant psychological pressure. For nations operating warships in sensitive waterways, Uncertainty becomes a weapon, forcing them to always assume the hated 110 could be nearby. A key part of the hated 110's strategic impact comes from how difficult it is to trace responsibility for attacks carried out beneath the water. If a missile or aircraft strikes a ship, radar and satellite data usually reveal the launch point, making the attacker clear. But an underwater drone that detonates directly against a hull may leave little immediate evidence about where it came from or who controlled it. This creates what military analysts call plausible deniability. Iran could challenge accusations by claiming the explosion was caused by a mine, an accident, or even a false flag operation. This adds a layer of political complexity to every naval incident in contested regions. Nations might hesitate to retaliate without solid proof, delaying responses and increasing tension. Additionally, underwater drones are cheaper to produce and operate compared to submarines or advanced cruise missiles. That means Iran could manufacture them in larger numbers, forming deployable fleets ready to swarm enemy vessels if tension rises. These drones could also loiter underwater until activated, staying hidden for long durations. The mere possibility of dormant suicide drones in major shipping lanes forces opponents to invest billions into advanced detection systems. In modern conflict, cost imbalance often determines advantage. Spending less to counter a more expensive force is a powerful strategy. The Hated 110 is designed exactly for that purpose. The Hated 110 also plays into Iran's growing drone export strategy. Over the years, Iran has supplied drones to allied groups and nations, expanding its influence far beyond its borders. Countries and non-state actors have used Iranian drones in conflicts across the Middle East, Africa, and even Eastern Europe. If a stealth underwater suicide drone becomes available for export, it could reshape naval security in multiple regions. Smaller nations or militias that cannot afford submarines or advanced missiles could suddenly gain the ability to threaten major warships. That imbalance could encourage more aggressive behavior, knowing that even powerful navies must respect the hidden danger beneath the waves. 
Western allies view this as a major proliferation concern because tracking and controlling the spread of underwater attack drones is far harder than regulating aircraft. Unlike large road mobile missile systems, these drones can be transported quietly and launched from almost anywhere near coastlines. They could also be used for sabotage, targeting offshore oil rigs, underwater pipelines, and port facilities vital to the global economy. Even intelligence gathering missions become possible if equipped with appropriate sensors. In international waters, the drone stealth abilities could complicate maritime patrol operations, forcing navies to reevaluate their assumptions about underwater threats. By exporting such a weapon, Iran would not only strengthen allies, but also expand its strategic leverage worldwide. While the hated 110 introduces a new level of stealth attack potential, it also faces engineering challenges that may limit or delay its operational use. Combining flight and underwater performance in a single compact drone is extremely complex. Each environment demands different propulsion materials and guidance systems. Flight requires lightweight construction and aerodynamic shaping, while underwater travel requires durability and buoyancy control. Balancing both roles perfectly is a technical struggle. The drone may have limited underwater range or slower underwater speed compared to traditional naval platforms. Battery life is another issue as stealth operations must remain quiet, restricting the use of powerful engines. Communication with the drone while underwater could also be difficult, forcing reliance on pre-programmed missions rather than real-time control. If it has to surface occasionally for guidance updates, that could expose it to detection. Additionally, saltwater corrosion poses a constant threat to sensors and electronics. Without frequent maintenance, deployments may become unreliable. Despite these challenges, Iran has a track record of rapidly upgrading drone designs through iterative improvements. Even an early version, the hated 110 could still be dangerous if deployed in swarms or used in confined waters where detection is already difficult. Continued development may resolve current limitations, turning this concept into a fully mature threat within a short time. In summary, the hated 110 stealth underwater suicide drone represents a bold step into the future of asymmetric naval warfare. By combining the strengths of airborne drones and underwater weapons, it breaks traditional boundaries in military technology. Navies around the world have long relied on surface and aerial detection systems to stop threats before they make contact, but this drone completely changes the direction of attack. It creates a threat that is extremely difficult to detect, track, or intercept. Even the uncertainty surrounding the drone's true capabilities adds strategic value for Iran, because fear alone can shift naval behavior in sensitive regions like the Persian Gulf. If fully operational, the hated 110 could give Iran the ability to challenge advanced warships without needing expensive fleets or submarines. It signals to rivals that Iran will continue to innovate in unpredictable ways, making the cost of military confrontation much higher than expected. Whether the drone is already deployed or still in development, one thing is clear nations must now rethink how they defend their ships beneath the surface, not just above it. As we move forward, more information about this weapon will likely emerge, and we will continue to analyze how it changes the balance of power at sea. The stealth war beneath the waves has officially begun. If you found this breakdown informative, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to Warpulse Media for more deep research on global defense and technology. Drop your thoughts in the comments. Does this drone change the future of naval warfare? We'll see you in the next report!